You're watching ABC 10 News at 11 o'clock. I'm Walt Gray. More breaking news. There have been multiple shootings across the Sacramento area, all within a span of hours. Two of them now homicides. The scene at two separate unrelated shootings this morning. One started in North Highlands but ended in El Paso Heights. The other on Stockton Boulevard in South Sacramento. Two men now dead from that. And we have confirmed that an 18-year-old Grant High School senior was the one killed in the shooting on Grand Avenue. He was set to graduate in just a few hours this evening. Our Bridget Biorlo joins us live from Grant Union High School. Bridget, we can only imagine this Grant High School community is so tight. Pacers for life. What else do we know about the student here? Well, Walt, this entire school community is just shaken and saddened by this young life taken far too soon. I just got off the phone with a board member here at Twin Rivers Unified School District, and he confirms to me that that 18 year old shooting victim was a senior here at Grant Union High School who was just hours away from graduating. He would have been walking across this turf with his diploma at seven tonight. We're also learning that he was a talented athlete and a beloved member of both the football and the basketball teams here at Grant Union school officials expressing immense grief over this passing, saying the entire community is just distraught after this young man. He was shot to death in North Highlands. He succumbed to a gunshot wound to his leg. He was just sitting in a car in that neighborhood, eventually passing away this morning at the hospital and what police are calling an unprovoked and at random attack. Take a listen. As the weather's warming up, as kids are out of school, as you know, things happen with just in the neighborhoods. Uh, it, it, it's random. It's not a regular occurrence by any stretch, but yeah, these things do happen. Now, 10 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Stay home. Police say at this point, it appears the student was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. They're still searching for the shooting suspect this morning. Meantime, Walt, we just learned that the superintendent here at Twin Rivers Unified, they sent out a letter to parents acknowledging this, expressing their immense sadness over this young life taken too soon and what they're calling a horrific act of violence, Walt. Yeah, what you're saying, Bridget, reminds me of seven and a half years ago when Grant High School football star J.J. Clark sitting with his friends getting dinner was was randomly shot as well again another star athlete random shooting as what we know so far uh, what's being offered today to students the ceremony still scheduled for tonight Yeah, and that was a question the school officials considered. They thought, would it be insensitive to have the graduation? They said, no, this is a way to honor and even celebrate this young life taken too soon. So we are expecting a tribute of sorts happening tonight at 7. As far as students today, there is grief counseling being offered. There's a crisis intervention team on site offering support to anyone who needs it, Walt. Mm, how sad. Okay, that's Bridget Biorlo. Uh, we continue to follow this story. Uh, we'll have much more community reaction. Coming up right here on ABC 10 a little bit later on. Bridget, thank you. We continue to also follow several other unrelated shootings today. An innocent man hurt after a shooting in Antelope. The shooting happened just after one this morning near Watt Avenue and Alberta Road. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Department says people in two cars were shooting at each other when a bystander was hit several times. Officials say the man was taken to the hospital and is expected to survive. A 56-year-old man died at the hospital after another unrelated shooting just hours later before 6 this morning. It happened at an apartment complex on Stockton Boulevard north of Gerber Road. You're looking at video from that scene a little bit earlier today. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Department says they believe two men got into an argument before shooting at each other. The other person is in stable condition. Busy news morning. You can get alerts like this story sent straight to your phone as soon as it happens. Download the free ABC 10 app on Google Play and the Apple App Store.